are you missing image maps with hotspots in SharePoint? Now, yes, I know we used to build them in SharePoint Designer and uh, the pages were so slow. I think they were as slow as tortoises running backwards uphill through peanut butter blindfolded and uh, definitely not the best thing to do on a landing page of your intranet. But I definitely have places where I still want to use these type of images with hotspots to navigate to areas. And uh, in this little video, I want to show you how I got that right in SharePoint Online. So let's take a look. In my SharePoint site, of course, I went and created a site called uh, Digital Literacy. And in site pages, I created a page for each of those digital literacy or disciplines or pillars, if you want to call it that. So if you look at these, for each of these, I created a page in my SharePoint site. And then, of course, I have a home page as well. And then what I did as I went and created, um, after I created these pages, I went and copied the URLs and I went and created hotspots on uh, that PowerPoint of mine. So the home page of this digital literacy site actually has this web part on it, which uh, when I navigate to it, you'll see that if I hover over that area, I can click on critical thinking and evaluation and it'll take me to that page. So there's the page. It's got links to all the other pages as well. It's got an explanation of what critical thinking and evaluation is. So if I click home, it'll take me back to that landing page. Well, this little web part that you see here is not done with uh, image maps like the way we used to do it in SharePoint um, on premises, but I actually did it with a file viewer. So what I did is that I took the PowerPoint that I have of this and I placed shapes over the areas where I want people to click. So that is actually a square that I am put in there. If I have to fill this, you can see that that's a square. And then I got the URL from SharePoint for those pages that I built. So if I go to site contents in the site pages library, I actually went to the different pages and I um, selected the page and I said copy link. There we go. And that's where I got the link from. So in PowerPoint, I then went and put a shape over that area. Of course, I made it transparent. I right clicked and I went insert link. And there's the link that I inserted. It's just a link that you can navigate to like a hyperlink. And I then of course went and made the shape um, transparent. And I also took the shape outline off so that you can't see it. And then what I did is I saved this PowerPoint as a PDF because it still keeps the URLs or the clickable links to it. And once I've saved it as a PDF, I then went and loaded it on my site. And what I did on the landing page is that I went and I edited the landing page and right at the top of my page, and I'll just add another one to show you, right at the top of my page, I added a file viewer. And in the file viewer, I then went and added or selected that file that I've um, added. So if I go to the site, and I go to that documents library where it's loaded. You'll see that there's a PDF in there, which is from that PowerPoint that I created. So there's the digital literacy with a hotspots PDF. I selected it and it then creates that uh, web part, which uh, becomes, and I just want to remove this, which becomes a clickable PDF. So yes, not as fancy pants as uh, what we used to do, I still think that this is great value to add when um, you're creating process navigation or maybe a little training site or something. Don't do this on your main internet landing page. I don't think that's good practice, but it definitely will help you to build some very, very awesome um, navigational concepts on your sites. So there you can see there's all my pages that I can navigate to. For example, if I go to creativity as well, it'll open the creativity page and then I can just navigate back again to the main page. So I think that's a pretty cool little thing that you can do on your team sites um, to help people navigate to specific process areas or training concepts or disciplines. And uh, I hope you have fun in, uh, in doing so.